Hello, Rally Navigator fans. This is Mike, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of our new software, Rally Navigator 2.0, and show you how to make roadbooks for cross country rally. So, from our homepage here at rallynavigator.com, you can learn more about cross country rally by clicking the link here or by navigating using our menu bar. This page is full written directions on how to make roadbooks for cross country. You may be watching this video right here. But first, let's get started by installing Rally Navigator 2.0 on your local computer. So go to this page, choose your operating system and download the proper software. Once that's done, uh, you'll need to link your Rally Navigator account to your new software. Download all the existing roadbooks from the Rally Navigator 1.0 server and then choose where you're going to save them on your local computer. Rally Navigator 2.0 runs, saves, and prints all from the local computer without server. So this is faster, more secure, and there's no surprise updates. So let's go ahead and open up Rally Navigator. This will be your first view of Navigator. You can see the icons are currently docked on the side. We can switch these to run the icons docked below. This toolbar can raise and lower depending on your screen size, and we can also zoom and shrink the icons. Once I have this configured the way I prefer, I'll go ahead and hide the icon toolbar. There's two ways to get started making a roadbook with Navigator. We can click on the map or import a GPX file. So I'm going to start by clicking on the map here. A double click gives me my first waypoint. I can continue along this track clicking manually or I can hold the control key and snap to roads. I can also hold the control and alt key and snap to roads with text instructions. You can see that's added there. So, as I get the track completed here, I can go ahead and click to make a waypoint and also click to hide another waypoint. So follow along the map, create your track using the drawing tools. The other way to get started is by importing a GPX or KML file. Let's do that now. File, open, select your GPX file. You'll see this overlaid on the map. Initially, after your GPX overlay, you'll see the map is locked. We're going to go ahead and unlock the map, and then from here, we can continue editing or manipulating the track as needed. You can also insert another GPX track at the start or end of the initial file. Now we have our track done. Let's review map controls. Scroll wheel, zoom in and out, clicking the movement pan the map. Uh, we can also hold the control key and take advantage of the 3D view of our map box software. Our keyboard shortcuts are N for north, R resets the tilt, and Z zooms to route. There are more keyboard and mouse shortcuts detailed here. So let's start making our roadbook. First, give it a title, cross country, add some custom text, tough. Our start and finish locations default to latitude longitude. However, we can replace these with custom text. So let's double click on that first waypoint. So now using our editing tools, we can drag and drop any road type we like into the tulip. Clicking on this to select, we can subtract or add track handles, making a simple curve, adding multiple handles to make a complex curve. When this track handle is selected, we can also click another road type to change the road type. We can change the road type of our track in and track out by selecting. Uh, changing the track out handle, you'll notice also changes subsequent tulips down here. We also have drawing tools, thin and thick drawing tool, and we can also click on the T to add a text box. I can also right click to add a text box. Clicking away and clicking back on the text box, I can zoom the text box to make the text larger. Right clicking on the text box allows me to highlight, delete, copy, cut, or paste. Let's review our cross country control icons and also icons with smart functionality. So we've got a new route here. So I'm gonna create a route with a special, a transit, followed by another special stage. So we'll have the start flag to get the special going a finish flag to finish it, followed by a stop icon. This begins our transit stage. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a time control icon to finish the transit stage. Start the next special, and we're gonna go all the way to finish the special and add a stop control. So that would give us special, 
transit, and then another special to finish the rally. So going back to review more of our smart icons, the cap function can be drag and drop to any cell. This can be grabbed and also increase in size. Moving across, adding a triple danger will we'll add the waypoint safety along with the red banner. I want to add a speed zone to our transit here. I'm going to add a depart zone, add the speed, 40 kilometers an hour, and then I'm going to end the zone at this time control. So you'll see that's also automatically out of the highlight. So our safety waypoints, we can go through waypoint safety, C, V, E, M, N, and P are all of the control waypoints used in the 2023 Dakar Rally. The other function we can also add is a fuel icon, uh, and that's going to actually calculate the fuel range in the header. So you can see there's a 25 kilometer route. Now that I've added fuel, you know the competitors need a 17 kilometer fuel range using that smart icon. Moving down, we can also add a reset distance icon here. Now I'll go from 17 starting the road look back at zero. Moving on to our icon palette, we have the full FIA cross country rally navigation set of icons, cross country, landmark, terrain, note, signs, and speed. So let's fly to this waypoint and add a couple of landmarks. So we can drag in uh, bushes, buildings, overlapping icons, we can select an icon and arrange it by sending it to the back. The rotate distance tick feature move, will move the distance tick if it's going to otherwise be obscured by a road. The layout assistant here helps to organize the contents of the text box. We can also turn this off to use a custom layout. So let's start by adding some text. And now if we drag, drag and drop icons, you'll see they're automatically displayed in a nice organized fashion. I can drag these icons away from this position, but when the layout assistant is turned on, the next icon added will automatically arrange things again. It's also possible to add a background image to any waypoint. Another nice feature is the ability to go on the web, right click, copy an image, and then go ahead and paste it into any cell. And you can also see that this icon now has been saved in the My Icons folder. Pro users can update the header image and also add custom icons to the My Icons library. I've now opened up our sample roadbook to review our menus. So clicking on the Rally Navigator menu, you can see where you can check for updates and also get the latest release notes. Our file menu allows to start a new file, open file, save, save as. This function has changed now that we're no longer using the server. So for example, if a user wanted to split a route in half, you would select a waypoint, hold the shift key, select another waypoint, and we can delete all those sections and then file and save this as a new roadbook to be used later. So sample trimmed. Now I could come along, use our track tool, insert a new track at the end of that and be able to splice roadbooks together. Reviewing our file export options, you can see user has option to download our Open Rally GPX file. There's more information about Open Rally on our timing and scoring page. This is an enhanced GPX track that contains additional stage data on starts, finishes, opening and validation radiuses, speed zones, etc. User can also export a KML or the, our time speed distance sheet, which I'll review separately in a different video. Rally Navigator Open Rally also supports many common rally tracking and scoring systems. So depending on what your rally is using, you can export to rally device, pick your device, and you'll get either an open rally GPX file, a CSV, or whatever these devices require for direct input.
uh, option to reverse a track here. Printing to PDF, user can select A4, A5, letter, legal, and roll. Premium users can print one roll wide. Pro users can select up to eight rolls wide for pro moto use. Here are a couple print samples of our roadbooks. Sample roadbook on A4, and here is a moto roll output on six across PDF. Going to the edit menu, simple cut, copy, paste. Our map function allows us to configure the map display on Navigator, changing to the street view, our satellite options. We'll be adding a new feature soon where we can switch back and forth between Google Map and Mapbox imagery. Changing our 3D, locking on the follow roads, our keyboard shortcuts I mentioned. The overlay function allows users to overlay a GPX file that was perhaps recorded in the field. I use this when pre-running, pre-run the roadbook, record a GPX file, and save waypoints along the way. When you get home, you can overlay this new track and possibly see where you need to modify the track based on your pre-run. This will clear the overlay. Moving on to the roadbook menu, user can change between cross country and road and stage rally. I'm making a separate video for road and stage rally. We already showed you how to choose a header image. Distance units, metric, or statute. Changing our track style. This is the current FIM uh, sort of specification using the blue track. We can also use a traditional black track or a highlighted blue track. The auto highlight feature turns on and off some of the highlights on our roadbook. Showing all cap headings. Showing all GPS coordinates. If you'd like to just show a single GPS coordinate or cap, you can deselect it and then double click in the field to show individual cap heading or lat long. Show all distance tick marks. You can see those are just hidden right there. Showing alternate distance. That's this field here. Showing control waypoint details. That will show you the radius for the open and validate. And showing control waypoint numbers will hide the control waypoint number. Moving into our waypoint, any waypoint that's selected can be controlled with these choices here. Delete, show, cap, hide the cap, show distance tick mark, or go into the properties. Icons will add an icon to our custom icon library. The window, here we can change our layout to dock to the side. Icon toolbar, I already showed you, you can right click on that. And here we have a light or dark mode. Subscription, reviewing where to link, unlink your subscription, downloading all of your roadbooks from rallynavigator.com. And all here we come to our help menu. I showed you the keyboard shortcuts earlier. We can also access our YouTube channel, our community forum on Adventure Rider, and also email us directly to provide feedback uh, on rallynavigator.com. Returning to rallynavigator.com, we can go back to our how to create a roadbook menu. Again, all detailed functions in writing here. I do have a link to the 2023 FIA uh, Rally Raid World Championships uh, specifications here. And there's also sample files, the RN2 file I was working on, GPX, KML files, PDF uh, roadbooks in all sizes, our pro PDF output roadbooks of uh, six and eight across, then links to our time speed distance uh, worksheet as well. And you can see screenshots, etc., down here. So, um, well, thank you for supporting Rally Navigator. I hope that answered most of your questions. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, please contact us at support at rallynavigator.com. 